It was a place of extravagance with 800 buildings, 9,000 rooms, and 37 palaces, and served as an oasis for the dynastic rulers of the land. It's known as the Forbidden City, but today it's anything but that. We're going inside the gates, although many people don't know why. Do you understand what the Forbidden City is? Um, actually, not really. I understand that it's forbidden, and it was built a long time ago. That's right. It was home to 24 of China's emperors over 500 years. Construction of the Forbidden City was completed in 1420. It's divided into the inner and outer court. It's surrounded by a 33-foot high wall and a magnificent moat. Would this be a cool place for an apartment? More like a house, but yeah. <laughs> Would this be the kind of place that you could live? Absolutely, yeah. It's kind of big, but I could get used to it. On this day, even members of the U.S. water polo team had a chance to fantasize. Merrill, you think you guys could have a party here? A party? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's big enough for us, for sure. Back then, it was home to the emperor. Now it's called the Palace Museum. Centuries of grandeur in between.